For the longest time, only the Jeep Wrangler had this unique feature, but now the Bronco joins the fun, the ability to remove the doors. Here are five things you need to know first. Number one, don't be in a rush. Use all the tools that the manufacturer gives you. And it really is a two person job. Ford gave me these door protectors to use and the first time I didn't use them, I paid the price. Number two, and I know this sounds funny, but remember your doors are off. I found out that when I make a turn, I subconsciously brace myself with my knee against the door. The first time I made a hard right, I almost fell out. Lock everything. Don't leave anything in your car you don't want stolen. And don't be surprised to leave wherever you're coming from to find a stranger sitting in your car. That happens. Number four, and this is the biggest one, you're open to the elements. A lot of noise coming into the cabin from other cars, from your own car, from the wind. And the faster you go, the worse it gets. So on the highway, it's all about the wind. It gets really noisy. Depending if you have the roof down or the windows out, it can get really windy. Down, it might fly out the door. And that's not just garbage or piece of paper you have in your cabin. Your hat, even your floor mats. And depending on the day, if you pass a big truck, you might even lose your sunglasses. And don't even think about putting your phone in your left pocket. And remember to tell your passengers what it's going to be like. Number five, think ahead. It's not like your windows are down, you can roll them back up 